everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another short video podcast. So, uh, I got a lot of questions regarding the last thing I did inside of the cockpit where I show you how to open and uh, maneuver the cockpit window, right? So, the questions have been divided into a couple of things. For example, can you open the window in flight? Why would you ever open the window even if it's not in flight but especially in flight? So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cover that, okay? Um, the, the answer to the question, can you open the window in flight, is yes and no, right? You cannot open the cockpit window if the aircraft is pressurized. It's pressurized, the pressure will push up against the window, and as I showed you in the previous video, the window is actually coming in, in order to be open, like that, okay? If the aircraft is pressurized, there's going to be an enormous amount of pressure pushing on the window, which means that it's going to be absolutely impossible to open the window if the aircraft is pressurized. However, if the aircraft is not pressurized, so if we actually go up here and we manually depressurize the aircraft, well in that case we will be able to open the cockpit window. Now why would you ever do that? Well there are actually certain situations where you might have to do that. For example, if we would encounter volcanic ash. Okay, volcanic ash could severely scratch up the window and completely cover it, so it's impossible to, um, to see through it. And in that case, we might actually, you, you probably find this hard to believe, you might actually have to open the window in order to see outside. And obviously the question will then be, won't there be very, very much wind if you're flying the aircraft and you open the window? And the answer to that is actually no. Because of the form of the nose and the aerodynamic characteristics of the 737, there's actually a bubble outside of the windows. So you can open the window and look outside, but I wouldn't recommend you sticking your head too far out because it's very hard to say where the airflow actually starts and obviously you'll be moving it around 300 kilometers per hour as an absolute minimum. So yes, you can open it, it's going to become extremely noisy when you do so, but it won't be windy inside of the, uh, inside of the cockpit. So um, when to open it, or why we would open it? On the ground actually we open it quite often to speak to the dispatcher who might not be on the headset, might be just standing downstairs so to communicate with ground crew or to call for a colleague or something like that. So we do open it and we use it to communicate with each other. And, of course, the absolute main reasons. If you have a look up here, and if you see in, in my Mentor 360 and my Mentor Aviation app, you will see that there is an emergency escape rope here. Okay? Inside of this, if you come down and show inside of it, you'll see that there's a rope. Okay, This rope is what we, the pilots, would use to evacuate the aircraft if the uh, normal exits are blocked. So if there's a lot of people uh, evacuating, for example, something has happened, we can actually open this window, put this rope outside and climb down and use it as emergency exit. So that would be the main reason that you can open the, um, the window. So guys, I hope that um, that explained a little bit more uh, my previous video. Uh, as always, I hope you're doing fantastic. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Send in your questions as always, because as you can see, I'm basing most of my videos on the uh, questions that you are asking. So for now, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.